Coming up on the DMT 1 to 1 show episode 63 on the 3rd of June 2014, an interview with Damien Tardieu, co-founder and CEO of the music search and recommendation company Neeland. Hello everyone and welcome to the DMT 1 to 1 show where we talk uh, to interesting uh, music tech startups and interesting digital music projects every week. And this week it's a real pleasure to have uh, Damien Tardieu from the company Neeland uh, joining us on the show. So hi uh, Damien and thanks for joining me. How's it going? Hi, Andrea. How are you? Uh, great. It's great to have you today. And uh, we've been, uh, I've been aware of the company for uh, uh, a few months now. And it's uh, a pleasure to have you on the show finally from Paris, right? Thank you. Uh, are you you're in Paris, right? Yeah, we are in Paris. Great. And so uh, let's uh, talk about uh, uh, Neeland. And first of all, uh, give us a bit of a background around the company, how it all got started and what, what spurred you to start the company. So we started the company uh, let's, almost one year ago in August uh, 2013. Uh, at the beginning, we were two uh, researchers from a French laboratory in music technology, uh, the IRCAM. And uh, we end up with a, a very good technology for uh, music similarity and music classification uh, from Signal. Uh, so we decided it would be a, a good idea to, to start a company with it uh, because we thought it, it works very well. Awesome. And so you, have, you also have an academic background, right, in, in doing this kind of work? Yeah, we are uh, two of the three co-founders are... Uh, uh, experimented researchers. We spent almost 10 years in the uh, academic research. And uh, the third guy is more a, a market-oriented guy. Sure. Uh, we, we met him during the, the first year uh, of the project. And uh, yeah, we are a good team right now. That's great. And we are very happy to work together. On and so, and so uh, looking at uh, sort of the problem you were trying to solve, what was your first uh, sort of uh, minimum viable product that you wanted to have uh, to, to be able to, to offer uh, to the world? Um, so the, the first product uh, we launched uh, this year at the beginning of the, of the, of the year was uh, a simple API for uh, music uh, search and recommendation, uh, which is based only on uh, signal analysis. Um, so it allows our clients who own um, who own uh, catalogs uh, to search easily in, inside their catalog. For, in, right. uh, for example, searching from examples or searching by tags. So, for instance, they can instantly uh, answer questions like, uh, "I need a track that sounds like Madonna. Uh, I need a track with piano and uh, other stuff like that." So. This first pro product was uh, mainly thought for uh, people from licensing. Yeah, absolutely. And so, so that essentially is a way for you to be able to find music based on the analysis of uh, a number of data points within the track without uh, a context. Essentially, you don't need tags or anything like that. It's more a question of the actual sounds of the track. Yes, uh, yes. Actually, uh, the technology uh, analyzes the content of the track and then uh, using uh, pattern analysis, uh, music listening, uh, and what we call uh, unsupervised learning, uh, we are able to obtain a deep understanding of the, of the music content. For instance, uh, timbre, structure, uh, rhythm, and all, all this is, is um, represented into, into a small code that, uh, that we extract from, from the track. Perfect. Um, and then we can easily compare two tracks by just comparing the codes. Right. And say, okay, those two tracks are very close or they are a bit close or very far from each other. And so that's also the, re the, the way that you can do this in a relatively uh, quick time frame, because otherwise it would take such a long time. <laughs> Yeah, the, the the size of the code uh, is very important, and, and the way we can compare to code uh, is very simple. And it was one of the major uh, breakthrough of the technology is that it was to be able to to compare very uh, quickly two tracks. 
That's great. And so, uh, of course, you started with a product that uh, is aimed primarily at the licensing market. And we're going to talk about, uh, uh, you know, CLAR, as, uh, you know, uh, which is uh, the, the separate website and, and uh, uh, that is accessible for people that are working in this field. Uh, but beyond that, sort of, uh, I can see a lot of uh, potential applications of the te technology. So what, what are you looking at in terms of expanding the API offering and expanding the services to different players in the music industry? Um, okay, so right now we are uh, selling it so mainly for uh, licensing and, and synchronization, uh, and and uh, we are uh, we are then testing the, the the product and showing it to the pub public, um, and well, we are trying to be ready for a, a launch for a, let's say more use uh, more general API for a music recommendation uh, for the end of the year. Awesome. That's so great. the idea would be to, would be to have first a fully um, a fun functioning uh, API uh, based only on Signal for uh, let's say the end of the year, and uh, trying to mix it mix the Signal with external data uh, during next year. That's great, and so that that would that would include uh, things like uh, you know similar similarity between artists, also how they're trending online, and also a uh, taste of the actual user. So it's it's a combination of uh, more generic data around uh, uh, what's happening on the web, and also personal data around the user itself. Yes. Um, so the fact is that we could do that uh, based only on signal yeah we could do a artist similarity based on signal which would give a very interesting similarity uh, because for instance uh, when you talk about michael jackson or madonna uh, they have such a long career that um, obtaining uh, similarity based on, on uh, social media or stuff like that is difficult. Whereas based on Signal, we, we can have an, have an idea of uh, the whole set of music they are able to create and they created during their career. Right. Right, exactly, and also it, it's kind of it's interesting because I, I was speaking to uh, uh, a few people. Uh, I was in Miami actually at a conference uh, in March, and we were talking about the uh, the fact that a lot of the recommendation services rely heavily on context. Uh, to uh, provide information, which is not necessarily for everybody seen as the right way to go. And some people think, well, if it, what happens if you take context, uh, uh, which is the, the, the tagging systems, which are not really uh, impartial, and uh, what if you take all the other metadata out of it and you just focus on the music? And so that, that's a, this is a very interesting take on that. And so have you found some, some interesting uh, 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 you know, similarities that you didn't think uh, you know, maybe would go together, but actually you, when, when you hear it, you actually go, oh, yeah, actually it makes a lot of sense. Well, uh, yes. For instance, uh, when I play with my own co my own collection, uh, and I try uh, to find uh, funk music from a, I, I try to create a play playlist of funk music. Uh, uh, since I don't have uh, a lot of funk, I can find any um, a lot of tracks from different artists. Right, uh, that are from that sounds like that, but that would not be uh, would not have been identified as funk music. For instance, from Serge Gainsbourg, or uh, right. Right. from people like that, and you're like, oh yes, you're right. There is this funky uh, guitar yeah, here. Uh, you wouldn't have imagined. Uh, so that yes, that's very interesting, and um, it also uh, allows to let's say get out of this uh, recommendation uh, bubble where you can end up with, uh, let's say, recommender systems based on, on uh, user data. Yeah. Um, sometimes you can go very far, <laughs> uh, but, uh, and you, you find, let's say, a recommendation that, that can be surprising. Yeah. So after that, the question is uh, how, how much people want, want to be surprised. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And I, I remember I was talking to Pandora, for example, uh, at South by Southwest, and they were talking about the fact that they have different ratios of surprise to not surprise results uh, based also on the device where people are listening from. So if they're listening to a mobile or in the car or in, in the home, they sort of gauge where people are. And based on that, they also give them different uh, uh, types of, of uh, you know comfort or 
out, out of comfort zone uh, uh, playlist. So that, that's a really interesting point to make as well. And so uh, on that sense, of course, uh, if people wanted to check out the technology from a licensing point of view, the CLR product is actually live. So people can actually go and, and check it out, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, you can ask for a demo for, from, from our website. Uh, and uh, usually it's quite quick. You, we just have to figure out a way, a way to... Uh, get the catalog so it can be done through the api or just uh, through uh, uh, ftp or any anything else and uh, we set up a, de a demo on uh, it takes us like, let's say uh, a few days Great. and then you can, you can use it for uh, for two weeks just to get a sense of, of how it could help you in your uh, licensing activity. Yeah, and that's going to be an interesting one because uh, I keep uh, interviewing companies that are uh, t having slightly different takes on, uh, for example, licensing uh, large catalogs for, uh, you know, easy sync to movies or uh, moving image or anything like that. And so uh, it feels like there's a there's a growing market of companies that are working in that vertical and trying to figure out ways to provide music to people that are producing videos and don't want to pay, uh, you know, uh, $5,000 or even, you know, sometimes $500 to, to license a track uh, in the traditional uh, way. So that's going to be uh, super interesting. And uh, uh, in terms of the API, of course, you mentioned the end of the year. And, uh, uh, and, and on that front, uh, sort of uh, monetization wise, are, are you funded and are you keeping going that way? Okay. Um, so just uh, to make it clear, the API for licensing is already... It's already ready. live. Yeah, perfect. Uh, everything is ready on on that uh, on that uh, point. So yes, we we are a team of six people right now, uh, and we are in the process of uh, of uh, raising a bit of money. Um, but actually, you know, in France, uh, it's it may be a bit different because we we can have a lot of money from from the government. Right. So we we have a we have ra we raised money from the government month and we are raising money right now from a, a venture capitalist the idea is to grow the company uh, from um, let's say uh, the middle of uh, uh, september yeah great that's fantastic and uh, no, I'm, I'm really excited about it and, and, and look forward to seeing uh, uh, the the api work uh, 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 towards the end of the year as well, but uh, you know, uh, you'd shown me the uh, Sealer product as well earlier this year, and uh, uh, for anybody listening, it works really well. So do go and check it out if you need that, uh, and uh, uh, see uh, what it can do in terms of finding similar music. It's pretty, it's pretty impressive, and uh, that's well. That's pretty much it for today, I think. Uh, you know. Uh, I, I would encourage everybody to go and check out uh, the company's website, uh, which uh, is uh, at uh, uh, nieland.io, which is N-I-L-A-N-D.io. And you can find all the links uh, there and the videos on the company. And uh, Damien, anything else you wanted to add or have we covered everything? Um, no, it's okay. I just want to thank, thank you for, uh, for uh, this moment. And... Uh, I was very glad to talk to you. That's great. Thanks so much for your time. And uh, thanks so much for listening to the DMT One to One show. You can find everything all out on digitalmusictrends.com, yeah, where you'll find the links uh, to the One to One. But also uh, do go on the site and check out the weekly news show, which comes out every uh, Thursday, where we discuss uh, the uh, week's uh, news in music tech with some fantastic guests. Uh, thanks so much for listening. Have a fantastic week. And uh, till next time. If you enjoyed watching or listening to the show and would like to find more, head on to digitalmusictrends.com.